The Legacy of Hope. A Great Venture by Bonaventure. No, no, no. Don't tell me. Who are you? You have only brought me bad news, yet I don't know how to get rid of you. What is it? What has happened to my children? Listen to me. Put away the fake armor of God that you have been wearing. There is no use wearing the rosary beads, scapular, praying, fasting or giving alms, for they are just fetish. Look, a tornado struck your son's house and killed everyone inside. I was barely. Give the devil attention and he gives you direction. Any form of discouragement is a diss to the virtue of courage. Inherent in the word courage is the Latin noun core, which means heart. To discourage is to dishearten. Discouragement is a cherished weapon in the arsenal of the devil. He throws doubts like darts and saps the heart with wraps. In an unfavorable season, he gives us a reason to commit a treason. Like a mischievous child seeking to punch holes in a balloon beautifully placed for an event, the enemy of our souls prowls around looking for an opportunity to pierce hole in our faith. Some invitations to argument are not worth honoring. They are pitfalls wrapped in rhetoric. The enemy will continually give us reasons why we should jettison our faith in God. He will tell us to look at the evils all around us and to renounce our deep hope in God's action in our lives. When the evil one promises us heaven, remember, he cannot send us where he himself has been ousted. Sometimes in life we all go down. Things happen and we all break down. But when we are down to nothing, God is up to something. And that should spare us on. That should keep us going. There is a season for everything. There are dry seasons and there are wet seasons. There are times when the sun comes out beautifully and shines. And there are moments when it rains heavily. So when we are experiencing one season of life which is unpleasant, it does not mean that is the end of the road. There is more to come. And such hope should inspire us to keep going. To have courage means to trust in God's ability to take care of one's future. So, in dark moments, faith becomes a light. A light that helps us to go through the tunnel, knowing that we'll get to the end of the tunnel and we'll experience that beautiful glory of God. We should never entertain the evil one. Never sit down with him and argue with him. When he throws a doubt at us, let us respond with deep faith in God. And with faith, we would certainly get to where God has destined for us. <laughs>